Before the games uh, with Monaco, you said that uh, you were ready for Mike James. Now, are you ready for the all-star uh, guards from uh, FS? Definitely, definitely. Uh, you know, it's uh, definitely a big challenge, just like it was with Mike James. But uh, you know, when guarding uh, guys like this, it's a, it's more of a team thing than just an individual thing. And uh, yeah, so whoever's on the court, I'll guard. And uh, but with that being said, it's a, it's a five-man job. Last summer, when you first came to Greece, you talked about uh, Final Four. Mm -hmm. Many, especially Panathinaikos fans, laughed. Now you're laughing. Uh, no, still no. Uh, you know, are we happy to be going to Final Four? Of course. Are we happy to be representing Olympiakos? Yes. Uh, but also, let's get greedy now. You know, let's uh, let's go win the thing. And I think um, then that's really when uh, we can laugh. Against Monaco, you shoot it uh, with, uh, I think, 43% from the three-point line. Mm. You kept the best for the most crucial moment. <laughs> uh, no, it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, I've been feeling good. I've been feeling confident. I've been working on it. And uh, um, I'm a true believer in confidence comes from being prepared, you know. And uh, I think that's why I'm confident because I'm, I'm feeling good and, and I'm working on it. Uh, the reports uh, before you come to Olympiago said that you were extremely close to sign to Maccabi. This thing eventually didn't happen. The decision to come to Olympiacos was the best uh, that you could uh, possibly take. Yes, obviously. Uh, I think it's easy to say now, you know, uh, because even uh, you know when I signed, you never know what's going to happen. But uh, being here. Uh, Seeing how the club is ran, seeing the club's ambitions, uh, coaching staff, the the Greek guys on the team, the foreigners, how everybody mixes, everybody um, is all on the same page. Um, I'm really happy that I'm here. Really happy, and I, I can't say that enough. Uh, did you manage to learn any of the songs that the, the fans uh, are singing during uh, the games? No, I uh, you know of course I like know the beat and know like, but I don't know the lyrics, you know. Uh, so whenever guys start singing, it's like I can hum along with them. But uh, I don't think my pronunciation is quite correct. <laughs> uh, okay, any Greek so far? Just little words. Just little words. Just like nay. Nee, not the bad words. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> well, you will be here for uh, a few more years, so you will have the chance. Yeah, to yeah. No, I, I. I need to get back on my lessons. I need to, to start my lessons again. <laughs> so, uh, about the final four, the Belgrade is going to be red and, uh, red and white. Are you ready for uh, this uh, huge opportunity for you? Yes, and, and I think you said the right word, opportunity. You know, this is, um, the playoffs was its own opportunity, you know, the top eight. Uh, and it was, you know, this opportunity to go to a final four is very special. And uh, it's not something that uh, I want to take lightly. And, um, as no matter what my ambitions are, it's not guaranteed that I will go to another Final Four either, you know. So um, I think that's how you have to look at this. Uh, I think that's how I'm looking at this. And um, Slukas, even though he has been to nine Final Fours, is, is also telling me this is an amazing opportunity, you know, uh, take advantage of it. So um, and that's speaking from a guy that's been to so many. And uh, so I think that shows how special it really is. And uh, you know, how, how serious we should take it. This is your first uh, EuroLeague Final Four. Mm -hmm. You went to Zalgiris the year after the mm -hmm. Final Four, also in Belgrade. Mm -hmm. And uh, now it's uh, the first with Olympiakos also. Uh, okay, it's uh, still early, uh, but dreams are uh, for free. So do you dream many more Final Fours with Olympiakos? Yes, yes. You know, I... <laughs> I didn't sign the one-year contract here, you know, uh, I signed multi-year because I thought we could do some special things, so um, this isn't a, a one-year thing. Um, I think we've built something uh, very special throughout this, this year, um, and uh, that's what we're focused on, you know, we're not looking forward to, you know, uh, next year, the year after, who to sign or what, you know, any of this, you know, right now, um, I think that would be a shame to look ahead of, you know, of this opportunity that's sitting right in front of us. So that's what we're focused on and uh, hopefully we come back from Belgrade with two wins. Uh, when uh, the season started, uh, you and Lucas almost never played together. But uh, during uh, the series with uh, Monaco, you played many times mm -hmm. in the same lineup. 
So how does it feel playing uh, with, uh, uh, of course, you know, he's the leader of the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think it, it feels great. Uh, I think that we mesh together very well, you know, and um, I understand, you know, coach uh, kind of holding on to that until, you know, he thought he needed it. And uh, but uh, he's kind of a dream to play with, you know, he does everything I am able to cover, you know, and guard whoever on defense. He is able to handle the offense. Uh, we both play the game the right way, I, I feel like. And uh, I think we make a good one-two punch. Uh, because of your appearance, you're uh, white, you're blonde, you're American. Uh, in uh, Twitter and uh, on the social media in general, many says that you are like Captain America, like Superman, like uh, 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 like Thor. Uh, <laughs> what are you? Uh, I'm just Tom. You know, <laughs> I'm just Tom. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really much of a superhero type guy. You know, I'm just I'm just here to play some basketball. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> one last thing, I want you to look at the camera and send your message to the fans who will travel to Belgrade, even though some of them don't have a ticket, but uh, yes. they hope to get one. And uh, your message to them is important. Right. Uh, for you guys coming to Belgrade, um, thank you in advance. Uh, this is such a special place to play because of you fans. And uh, we can't wait to see you there. Uh, and let's paint Belgrade red.